Dwayne Gambian here coming to you with a recap of the Buffalo Bills versus Patriots. And to those and to the Patriot team. 23 to 3. 23 to 3? To the Buffalo fucking Bills? Like, what is this? You guys, the defense was getting run down all fucking day. If the Buffalo Bills wasn't just throwing the ball to us, it could have been a lot closer. Now, you give up 200 rushing yards. I understand we're under man, but what the fuck is our D-line doing? Like, what are you guys doing? We have Steelers in two weeks. Le'Veon Bell will run the fuck out of us if you guys don't fix the fuck up on the run defense. You have to run. Run stop. It's important. Like, we do have great DBs. I'm not going to shit on them. But, you guys got to run block. I am tired of watching a Patriot defense get run on. If the Buffalo Bills quarterback had any kind of capability to make a pass, it, the game would have been different. All right? That's my nip on the defense. The defense was total trash. Total trash. I don't care what anyone tells me. Belichick in the offseason needs to get better D-linemen. Period. I'm not liking our, our front seven at all. It's trash. McCourty, and not McCourty. Deshaun McCoy averaging 6.2 yards on us. Almost ran for a buck on us. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. <sighs> and then to the offense. Josh McDaniels had the nerve to go to my nigga Brady and say that, oh, the sort was open. He knows that. Tom Brady knows the guy was open. He made a mistake. He hesitated and said, fuck it. Let me throw to Cooks instead. He hesitated. That's what the pass to Cooks was off too. He realized seeing him open and said, fuck, I missed a wide open throw. Josh McDaniels, he's a need your bitch ass to tell you. You got outranked by other people. You're not a GOAT. Brady's a GOAT. No one outranks Brady in his profession. So he doesn't need you to tell him the basic shit. All right? So keep that in mind. Keep that in check. Alright? And another that pisses me off on the same level, besides Josh McDaniels, is the stupid fucking refs. These guys called a offense pass interference on Gronk, and Gronk didn't even touch the guy. What kind of bullshit was that? Yo, you refs are starting to really fuck me up and crap my style. It's getting to the point I'm saying, just throw away the refs. The coach has an issue with something, throws a flag, and we just go to a, a, a replay and deal with it. These refs are trash. <laughs> Fucking trash. The NFL said they're going to pay refs now. You know, it's going to be a little better. They're going to have, like, seasoned refs, so they're not having other jobs and things like that. But nah, these niggas are still trash, bro. Still trash. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, my gosh. I sit there watching a Patriot versus Buffalo game, and we're struggling. To slap Buffalo. It should have been like 35 to 3. Why are we struggling to Buffalo? And the reality of the game. It should have been. If, we were, if I was a Buffalo fan. It should have been like 15 to 23. The game should have been a lot closer than it was. We had niggas 30 yards open. And they were just missing. That's me speaking as a Buffalo fan. You know what I mean? Brady didn't have his greatest performance. I'll, I'll give him that. He's a GOAT though. So I don't care. He's a do too much. If he had better receivers, a better O lineman. Oh, talk about the O lineman. My last video, I was talking about turnstiles. Nate fucking Solder is the shittiest. Shittiest. I know you got a kid that has little issues. God bless him. I hope you figure all that out and he gets healthy. But you are fucking trash. You get no fucking love from me. None. Every time I see you, this is how you're blocking. Why are you blocking like this? Huh? Why are you blocking like that? Huh? Even, um, what's his name? Kevin Fleming played better than you. He's like our fourth string O lineman. Or tackle. And then who other? Tony! I know you're a little bit undersized. It's not your fault. But goddamn, the way you're getting pushed back, you need to hit the gym, young fella. Axe Gronk. Cause Gronk is stronger than you, and you weigh more than Gronk. That's embarrassing. Well, I guess you guys want to get to some positive. Eric Lee, he just came from the Buffalo Bills. I don't know if they had a little thing, him and the Bills. You know, 
he had to get a little stats because it's his old team, but they didn't give Gilmore no love. They gave Eric Lee a lot of love. He got an interception and 1.5 sacks, but they gave Gilmore no love. Lagoria had no interceptions, no none. Like, Tyrod Taylor was not trying to target that nigga. He did go ahead a couple of times. Let me not say he didn't. They did go to him a couple of times, but it wasn't really much nothing. Um, Dion fucking Lewis. What did I tell you guys about Dion Lewis? He is Eric Berry. He just injured. Like, a lot of Patriots superstars are injury prone as fuck. As fuck. Like, they need to be in that Brady's Under Armour jumpsuit to help them feel a little better. But Dion fucking Lewis with 9.1, or 6.1, sorry, yards, averaging. 92 yards, you know what I mean, on 15 carries. He had no TDs because they snaked him for Rex Burkhead. Let's give Rex Burkhead the goal line runs. Why are you giving Rex Burkhead Deion Lewis's hard-earned runs? If a match running hard, you let him score his runs. You give Burkhead one try at the goal line, he doesn't get it, you let Deion Lewis go back in the game and run. Unless, if you think, you know, a lot of bodies, you don't want him to get banged up, you don't want to get hurt, and then all right, can I rather him in the long haul? Then the short haul, because Deion Lewis, I seen him, I was watching the Super Bowl. No one touched him. He was running out of bounds and hurt himself. So, the less hits he could get, the better it is for me. So, alright, if that's the case, then you have my forgiveness, Bill Belichick. But that's not, why is he not in the game? You and Josh McDowell need to figure that shit out, because I'm not liking it. And for the highlight of the night, because people are winning, Gronk's got his one-game suspension. He did that people's elbow. Oh! Like, Gronk goes like this. Oh! You know what I mean? Gronk went flying in that bitch. The rest were pissing him off. That Buffalo Bills guy was pissing him off. Man, got the people's elbow. I also saw Gronk smile like this. Cheese! Connect that. <laughs> but yeah, homie got one game suspension. Something light. We play Miami next week. Easy dust. Steelers, we coming for that number one, eh? Two more weeks. Remember I said that. Alright, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the recap. I'm going to be coming every single week with these recaps of the game. I know I've been a little late with this one. It's about two days. But it's because of the copyright things that's trying to go around it. But I just said, fuck it. You guys can copy you strict and shit. Just for more content. I'm doing it for y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, y'all.